Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this world. We're back to continue our playthrough of Phoenix Point, the year one edition. And I think this will be the mission. Of course, I was thinking that last time, but this will be the mission that we finally get our Tiamat here, our two Helioses down here. We are able to do the team shuffle, get the Scarab onto. This will be one of the last uh, pure missions that we're sending out the, the Tiamat on up to this scavenging site. Um, we're going to use the Scarab because I like the idea of using that and being able to offload to uh, help us pick up all the goody goods on this thing. We are facing the Pure up here, if I recall what the description said. Uh, so we'll make sure any snipers and heavies we have, uh, we get along on this mission also to help us out defeating the Pure that we're going to face. Um, little bookkeeping that I noticed. Uh, what I decided to do looking around, I, I know I was talking about eventually getting up here with the long range Tiamat, uh, helping me figure out a way to get over uh, from Greenland over here. But what I realized I have not done up here in this base is we don't have any kind of satellite facility up here right now. And uh, I'm thinking that will help scan and may find us uh, a site or two that's going to help us complete that link up there. So let's get ahead and start building the satellite. We have the goods, we have the materials, we have the tech to be able to get it built and done. So I'm going to do it right now. And hopefully by the time we finish up down here around uh, the scavenging mission and send people up that way, we may already have found a link to get across to North America by then. So we'll see got four days with which to build it it gets us low once again on supplies uh, but one thing we can do in the meantime we'll get the manticore down here see if we can pick something up uh, with a search down here and uh, well looks like the Tiamat one how often can we say that uh, let's get this Helios down here. I think it has uh, some of our people on it. I think this Helios is empty, so that's not vital to get it here. As soon as the other... Hmm. Okay, they're both here now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we will stop and get some people shifted around. Uh, Callum, I'm interested in getting you on the mission as our heavy. Uh, I'll take, once again, Will Smith off of there. He's currently there, but he doesn't quite have all his armor. By the time we finish the mission, our manufacturing on his armor, boom, 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 like one day, 20, 22 hours, uh, he's going to finally be outfitted and equipped uh, for that. And we got uh, our sniper rifles coming up right after that. So in a matter of two days speaking, we're going to have um, the A and B teams fully equipped once again. So... We're in, we're, I'm feeling like we're kind of in good shape there to, to keep moving. So anyway, let's get back. I tend to ramble and let's see. So Will Smith, we're going to put you in the base. And just so you can get some training while we're waiting for your armory, ar arm, armor, excuse me. And Tim Allen, um, what we're going to do is uh, park you in the base. We're going to keep you here and just leave the Helios empty at the moment. And... Finally, this is the team. Missy, Tom Cruise, Lou Gossett. So they'll be our snipers. We have our two heavies in Missy Pyle and Callum and uh, the token assault in Tommy Lee Jones. And then we'll bring over the Scarab. And I think we got a team equipped ready to go out on this mission. Uh, so let's get to Tiamat flying back towards the scavenging mission. Oop, there was the Tiamat, excuse me. And let's pop the Tiamat up here, although that's not much of a pop. <laughs> a little slower than a pop, but let's get the Tiamat on its way. Research complete. And we finished Advanced Bionic Technology. Uh, first of two researches we're doing for bi uh, Bionic Technology. We've gained a Disruptor Head. What is that? Neural Disruption. Disrupt target for one turn, causing it to be disoriented. And then uh, bleed immunity with the bionic augmentation. Um, bionic augmentation here. And we have rocket leap. Leap to target location. I wonder the distance that that would allow us to leap. I haven't played with that before. And finally, heavy lifter. Double weight that can be carried without causing movement penalties. Now there's a augmentation that would be handy dandy to have along on a scavenging mission now, wouldn't it? 
and uh, we'll keep going. Probably the manticore is going to hit our target. And let me let me take a look at this Helios because I want to get a sense of how weakened it is right now. And if it's sitting at this base, will it be repaired uh, as it sits here? I want to get a good sense. It's just above the halfway point. Uh, I want to try and remember that to see if it's uh, getting some repairs while just sitting there. Okay, let's continue time. Our disciples have found new haven. It's under attack. Ooh -wee. Uh, this one is attacking 17, defending 18. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave Disciples of Anu to handle it themselves. Because we're looking at uh, the defending forces outnumber, barely. Uh, so I'm not going to get distracted. I think I need um, the scavenging mission more than I need... Uh, to deal with this because if I do this Haven Defense with Anu, I think it gives me a slight hit against Sinedrian and um, New Jericho, which I don't need right now. So we're going to let them fend for themselves since they uh, have the capacity to survive this one. We'll let them be. And we're going to explore. And our two Helioses are back. And we'll keep watching Helios 3. That's the one we want to keep an eye on. It almost looks like maybe it has ticked up a little bit already. And how far? Yeah, the Tiamat barely moved. Flowers for the dead. Our operatives have set down on the edge of a town abandoned and picked clean long ago. The nearest building appears to be a crematorium. The back room is piled up with bodies as if people brought their dead to the place and just left them there. Pink, meaty flowers are growing from the mummified corpses, swaying even though there's no wind. So we're going to search the crematorium. Good, we did find, uh, well, I don't know about food here. I figured we'd lose some stamina, uh, but we did get some more materials, which are... <laughs> vitally needed right now looks like this is the only place that didn't get ransacked probably because of the nauseating smell given off by the flowers which is so intense it actually makes our operatives wretch okay so i don't know that i have anything else uh, to s explore down here i'm not interested in taking on an antediluvian ruin quite yet let's just see if i have any other big old question mark you know there's one way over here we can head to i think what we'll do is kind of uh pop into a few of these havens down here that have question marks next to them and just see if there's any stories or, or happenings uh in amongst those sometimes those do pop up so we'll just Keep the manticore busy temporarily just doing this oh well and and that pays off by giving us another explored site by doing that so there you go crew of phoenix point are fully healed and rested crew of phoenix r d9 are fully healed and rested and look at this manticore i just uh, wasn't paying attention we don't want to explore uh, i've lost track of our stamina if anything were to happen to us uh, we would be in bad shape so we got to get ourselves back up to the base and get our stamina back in order all right we made it to the scavenging site uh, typical scavenging site. Enemy reinforcements will arrive continuously from areas marked with this symbol. Take as many items for the crate as we can manage. It's a medium threat level with the pure, and it's a nighttime uh, mission. So our perception may not be as great as it would be during the day. Let's take a look at the team that we got and see if there's anything. We're probably going to look where we can at lightening our load wherever possible. And I'm wondering, are we going to take so many shots that I need the backup ammo? There's a there's a question for you. Um, I'm thinking with the pure, the snipers are the ones that are going to need the most ammo. They're, they're usually the ones that do the most. So I think we'll be okay uh, reducing our load that way. We'll keep the med kit here. 
and uh, keep Missy this way. It's always dangerous to, to get too light, uh, not having enough ammo or whatever, but I think with a heavy, um, we only take so many shots usually anyway. Tom Cruise. Hmm. I could keep you with both weapons or I can keep you with one weapon, but if it's against the pure, I want the heavy shot. So we're going to take away your ammo just because with two weapons, you'll have enough shots to get you by. Uh, Lou Gossett, we're going to lighten your load up too. Now I got you with the Synedrian laser sniper rifle ammo and you don't even have the Synedrian laser sniper. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here. Just keep you with your weapons with the ammo they come with just to lighten your load so we can pick stuff up and not get too overburdened. Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of the new Jericho weapon all just because we don't have more ammo for it. Although hopefully we'll find some. My question is, is this going to be enough ammo if I take this away? Well, I think we, we're, we're more interested in your speed. We're going to, the, the power of your weapon isn't going to do much against the pure anyway. Um, we probably won't take that many shots against the pure, I'm thinking. So let's lighten your load. You're just going to be... Uh, Jumping out, running around, gathering as much as possible. And let's see, Callum, I think we're going to burn the grenade. Just like we did with Missy, we're going to burn the excess ammo and uh, get you ready to pick up and carry. And the Scarab. Okay, so I think we're ready to get out on this mission. And uh, let's hope it's successful. We can... Uh, only recover the items that are carried either by our soldiers or stashed on the vehicle. Well, you know, we're hopefully going to be able to stash, stash our fair share on the Scarab. Let's see you down on the battlefield. All right, let's see if we can get a sense of what we're dealing with out here. Uh, one good thing I'm thinking about right off the bat here. We got one hidden uh, tucked away in there, too is uh, being the pure that we're up against. I don't have to worry about any of those freaking miss sentinels <laughs> that drive me crazy on these missions. So I guess I got to be thankful for small favors. Uh, so we're looking any crates down below here. No. So we're looking at one, two on this side, three, four, five, Six. By my count, we're looking at six crates. Anything around the edges doesn't look like it. So there's our targets right ahead of us. Um, let's do this. Uh, let's get kind of feeling like, uh, of course, this building is going to potentially block a lot of our views. What is our way to get up to this tower here? Is there ladders and staircases and other stuff? Oh my, that's a long way around to get up the staircase for a sniper. Kind of wondering, is there? A, there's not a roof up here, so this this may be a quick jet jump mission for you, Callum or Missy, up here to grab these first ones on our on our travels. Our exit zones are back on this side, so we, when we go out here, we then gotta return back to this edge of the map. I'm kind of thinking. Uh, <clears throat> let's send our. Let's send. Uh, let's show them what we can do. Tommy Lee Jones into the scarab. And let's get our scarab moving. I'm kind of thinking uh, we can work on getting the scarab off to some of the farther items. Oh, who knows how we'll have to deal with these two. They're, 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 that building is going to be uh, interesting to work around with the pure. I'd much rather pick them up at long range. I, I, I dread having to deal with them in close quarters. Let's just do a first move here, uh, just to peek around the corner, see if we see anything. And really didn't think we would. 
Uh, we'll pop the scarab over here. And so far, we see nothing. And with that in mind, uh, let's get you, Tom Cruise, uh, off to this point. Yeah, no way to get you up to the window. Well, we'll 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 move to the window to start. And we see nothing. And I'm thinking we'll take you upstairs to try and get this. And then once we get it, you, depending on if we have sight lines and they aren't hiding around this building to make it useless to have you up there, we'll, we'll start out trying to get you up high into a sniper perch kind of a position. On the move. If the opportunity presents itself. And uh, Lou Gossett. We'll get you off in this direction also. I don't really want to send you out into the open yet, uh, so we'll park you there. And we'll get our jet jumpers ready to get on the move here. Now, do we have any will points? I wasn't really looking for those. Yeah, it doesn't look like this map comes with any extra will points. Uh, I think by opening crates, we may gain some will that way for the person that opens the crates. So uh, let's see about getting us jumped in this direction. Let's get this done. And it looks like we picked up some will points. There, there must have been something up here that we flew over and uh, we got will points I wasn't even aware of. <laughs> what do you know? So far, no pure. My big fear though, as I've said, is that they're somewhere off in the close quarters, which is not my ideal way of dealing with the pure. Long distance with a sniper is my preferred method. close they are indoors close quarters so maybe what we need to try doing is uh, staying away from this building initially that's what I'm thinking Tom Cruise let's get you upstairs we'll start with you dashing ahead All right, we're picking up some nice uh, tech boxes. Do we pick up anything good? Sinidrian? Now, nah, as far as this little ammo, nothing really all that exciting. Can't get you to the window or any other position yet at this point. In fact, I don't know if you'll be able to get a shot out that window because of uh, what's in front of the window. So, so much for using this as a sniper perch. Uh, not, not, not feeling the. Uh, that it's going to suit our purposes. Now inside the scarab we got somebody. And that would be you, not Missy Pyle. Channel open. Can't oh, wait. my assault symbol right there. Uh, let's jump you out. Step over here to pick this up. These are materials, badly needed materials. Uh, we get any kind of weapons we need. Uh, the Gauss Assault Rifle Magazine, definitely need that puppy. The other ones, not so much. Rocket Launcher, we need missiles. Unless this comes a new miss missile launcher rocket. So this is the rockets for the missile launchers. I don't think we have any movement left uh, after that to be able to offload onto the scarab, so we'll just got to remember to do that. Um, do we want to try getting a rocket launched against this guy over here that we can't quite see? Let's move out here just a little bit.
and just see if we want to launch a missile over here and uh, start the damage on this guy. If we if it if it lands right where it can behind the shield, it's telling me it's going to do a lot more damage. So we'll aim for it. Never lands exactly where you want, but we'll try for it. Well, we did some damage. Did some damage. He's still hiding behind that wall here. What kind of hit points are we looking at? 100? And it's a pure assault? I don't know how susceptible he is to bashes. Is it worth our while to try and get a position here, overwatch with our heavy weapons? What's our plan? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to say that we would have line of sight through here. Unless we got way over here, uh, which isn't going to happen because of that wall. Um, I think we're going to do just that. We're just going to kind of overwatch this turn with the heavies in the hope of picking this guy up when he moves. I got this covered. And we're going to try the same thing right here on the other direction with Missy. See if we can pick him up out. and do some damage. Uh, Tom Cruise, you're not moving anywhere. Luke Gossett, however, is there a way we can get you moving to help us out? Maybe not so much. I don't know how helpful it's going to be moving you indoors. Now, if we bring you here, depending on how he goes and how he moves. We'll get you near a crate. We'll overwatch that probably is not going to make much of a difference. But it's the only option we have to overwatch with. to go see what the pure do. Well, we have one off in the distance. It's a pure assault. And that guy's just uh, going through the walls and the interior. He did not move up. Ooh, he dazed. Scarab's taking some hits. That's what they're focusing on the most. Kind of thinking, uh, let's stand you up here. Let's see what your shot Ready looks like, to Tom Cruise. Could be helpful if we just center in there. Except I think. We missed. On the move. Uh, the other options we have, and he dazed. He was still able to assault when dazed, so that's actually not very helpful. Um, I think we need uh, pure assault. Thank goodness they're assaults, and they don't have better weapons, at least. Not that the new, new Jericho assault rifles aren't good. Now, where do we want to try shooting? Um, these guys are entrenched in the building at the moment. He's entrenched. He's not entrenched, but he's at a distance. Let's get ourselves uh, this way. Out of line of sight of this guy in the distance. I wonder if we have range to shoot against that guy with the missiles. Well, we do have the range. I don't know how accurate these shots will be. We will find out in a moment. Uh, we're going to try. So we got no one else nearby that can damage this guy. A 
One went off the map and one connected, but what did it do? A little bit of damage, a little bit of armor damage, definitely damaged the shield, but overall not much. Now we've got to hope we can uh, work on taking this guy out. It says we would have sight from here. I don't know how much I don't I don't I don't put much credence in that one. It says we see him and his shield does not seem to be turned in the very good position. Let's just see if that's as true as it looks. Oh, it sure does. So what we're going to do is a little quick game here with Lou Gossett. And we're going to fire away one shot with, well, actually, if one shot can wipe him out, I wonder what our shots look like with ammo we can replace. Yeah, let's just do, since it's going to take two shot, shots no matter what, let's uh, use the ammo that we can replace easily. Armor 40, armor 45. Uh, we'll try for the leg. And we got the leg. Uh, now we got one more shot coming up. And we should, no matter where we hit, we should take it out. Uh, so let's try center mass where we don't have a chance to miss. All right, one down. Uh, let's get in here with uh, Tim Allen, see if we can offload his goodies so next time he's able to, he can jump out. Okay, and we'll just keep Tom on board. Uh, let's say it says I have a shot from here. Let's see if we uh, truly do, Missy. Yeah, uh, that's not what I call uh, a pretty, pretty uh, good odds of a shot. Um, since I don't really have any other options with you right now, we're gonna we're gonna shoot the ammo. We actually hit the leg. And once again, we got the same kind of potential shot from you, Callum, over here. And that might be a better angle, I'm thinking, even though it's a step or two further. Let's find out if I'm right. Oh, that's a much better angle. Oh, yeah, we might even be able to take him out if we can connect properly. Let's go, Callum. Wait, do it. Destroyed. Way to do it. Uh, Scarab's done. Tommy Lee Jones is done. And let's see what the pure do against us. There's two out there that we're aware of. That's good. We're behind behind some defense. Oh, he got through. One of his shots got through. Nothing significant. Nothing too bad. Except this guy's going to shoot at us. Scarab's getting beat up right now, but fortunately he has lots of ammo. So uh, I think we're going to get Tom Cruise. You know, I'm thinking we may just keep Tom Cruise up here. Yeah, there's no way to get up on something up here that, that gets me through that window. The only angle I have is to cover this kind of area with Tom Cruise up there. So for the moment, we're just going to leave you there, Tom. Advancing. We'll have you overwatching while the rest of us work on some crates here. Uh, we're going to bring the scarab out. For starters, we're going to try here. Or do I just get aggressive and move us all the way up? We're going to take some shots. How much more ammo do we got? We got two more shots. So let's move a tiny bit closer. See if we can't keep wearing this guy down in the distance. Oh, 
and they both went long. So uh, a distance shooter, this thing is not. Uh, maybe what we'll do is, uh, rather than keep you there after all, Tom Cruise, well, we don't, we're going to keep you there till we know where the other two come from. We're going to have to deal with these guys on the indoors. We're going to start bringing you up here, Missy. We're going to see what he has dropped. And uh, the assault rifle mags, guess what? We need them. We definitely need them. Uh, what I will do is bring you in this cover. And we'll see if we can't get someone else moving a little closer to help us out. Do we have a shot anywhere around here? We do with you, Lugazit. Do you have quick aim left? We do, but that's in the direction of the shield. So for this, let's just get this... this Check out this loot first. And this is a huge loot cache. What have we got? Some uh, personal defense weapon magazines. Ah, there we go. There's a good one too. Gauss sniper rifle mags. We definitely want to pick that up. Uh, so we're going to load up on the materials which we desperately need. This ammo is important. This ammo is important. The rest of all, all here is a little less important, but we're going to take it anyway because you never know when we're going to need this particular armor, the crossbow quiver from the Sinedrian weapon. Um, we don't have enough to overwatch. Yeah, because we haven't picked up the perk for uh, improved overwatch. So I think what we'll do is stay in this cover. Just kind of watch this doorway. He may decide to stay there shooting at the scarab. I do not know. Uh, but if he does, I'm prepared. he's going to find. Yeah. He's, he's going to find that we're going to be uh, trying to get ready for him. In fact, uh, the way we're going to try getting ready for him, hmm, he probably doesn't have to come all the way through anyway. To take a shot on us so maybe i do need to just hmm do i need to let him know we're here we'll just get in a little further with you callum we won't be able to overwatch or anything not close enough for a war cry we can't get close enough for a war cry I don't want to put you into his line of sight without him having to move so not ideal and we'll just kind of overwatch that's not much much distance on the overwatch now is it holding position and Tommy Lee Jones we're keeping you inside Let's see what they do. Now he's staying on the scarab, which I'm fine with. Let's see which way he deploys his uh, shield, though. That's going to make a difference. And Pure Assault rearranged himself. And guess what? We got someone new coming in a heavy. So now we got Tom Cruise uh, in an advantageous position for us. Yeah, we can take one step over here and keep working on the heavy as he's moving up. So that, now I'm liking Tom Cruise's position a little bit more. Unfortunately, I don't know that we're going to have a shot to get over that shield. Yep. So I think what we may do is just... Uh, Try and see if we can't get this guy to move, take down his shield, and get our shot in that way at a distance. So let's uh, just overwatch. Now, isn't that funny? We were able to, yeah, we we're, were able to get out that way, not straight, straight distance this way, but by putting our overwatch this way. So that's what, just what we're going to do, just so we can pick that heavy up overwatch. on our overwatch. Now we're going to continue moving our scarab forward. We're going to take our last shot of the scarab's weapons. Uh, 
telling me we can't we can't knock that out seems to be what it's telling me now we can uh, let's do our last missile it's a little closer range so hopefully we'll be on target this time and that annoying guy is gone uh, now we did get him to panic with that kill uh, that kind of frees us up for some options for shots and uh, the first one I like is right here because his shield is not in the way what do you, you oh you you're, you're kidding me you're kidding me you're kidding me <laughs> well we do have quick aim we're gonna have to take one more step forward just to be able to get that shot. That's crazy. That's insane. And we're going to use our quick aim. Now if we uh, work on the arm, looks like we have a good chance at taking out the arm. That may uh, make his weapon less usable. There we go. And we don't have enough able to uh, work on the pistol. We're just going to move in that direction. We're not in the line of sight from this heavy coming in. Let's see. Uh, Tommy Lee, we're going to keep you. Well, you might think we, we can get you out and run you up here. But you're not going to get there any faster than next turn with the vehicle. So we're just going to keep you in there. Let's see. Callum. We're going to have you pick up what's in here, maybe. We're going to check out your shot first. Come get some. Well, he is panicked, so uh, I think I got... Uh, let's pick up what we need first. Well, not what we need, but we just want to pick everything up. And uh, let's get you in a position to maybe start helping out against this heavy. Here I am. Let's do this. In cover, of course. Uh, Missy. There's other crates farther in. Oh, yes, there is. Uh, we're going to send you off in that direction. He's panicked, so we don't have to worry about him this turn. And we're going to keep Luke Gossett on him anyway. <laughs> make him a little hard pressed to use his weapon now isn't it uh, we got plenty of quick aim but let's take a look at uh, oh I think we might be able to get around his armor he made a Callum I think he's aware of you and set the shield for you but that leaves us an opening with Tom Cruise uh, we're going to quick aim just in case it takes two shots taking aim And it barely is going to take two shots. Ready to fire. That's a key. That's a key. Okay, uh, let's get the scarab a moving. We aren't seeing anything out here yet. Blue Gosset. Yeah, we're just going to use you to finish this guy off. Oh, you, you're, you're, you're kidding me, right? We'll take our step. In fact, uh, let's, let's just come in close and uh, make sure we get it done. we got to start moving towards these other crates anyway. See what he dropped when we have a chance. Uh, Tim Allen, I want to get you out. Or Tommy Lee Jones, excuse me. We left Tim Allen behind. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll come over here behind cover so we can check there and then we'll get over to the crate. And K 
Callum, how much are you carrying much? No, you got a lot. You got a lot to, to be able to pick up. So let's get you running over here. With the last year movement towards this crate. What kind of pathing is that telling me you're taking? Let's go. Oh, that's because we had Missy in the doorway block it. That's why you had to take the long way around. So we're gonna take Missy over here. Catch me if you can. And that looks like uh yeah. Not the kind of ammo I was looking for, but we'll take it next turn when we have the action points. Well, I already ended my turn. I don't know why that popped up again, but it uh, looks like, okay, that's where the new one entered. Tom Cruise will have you ready. And uh, let's start over here. There's a big one. We're picking up some good new Jericho ammo, which is desperately what we need right now. Moving to coordinates. What the heck is this thing? A Sinidrian Imp grenade. Alrighty. Alrighty. We're loaded up on the farthest crate. Let's see if we can move the scarab over here so you can get on board. Yeah, Ready. Have the ability. Here comes the Phoenix. Climb on in. Now let's move on out. And uh, we'll try to be over here. We got uh, this crate to get to yet. We can offload this crate if we need to from Missy Pile. I think we got enough to be picking stuff up. There's nothing else laying around from uh, those we killed at the moment. There's no other crates that we have to worry about. So I think we're in good shape on this thing, guys. Let's keep us moving. Uh, Tom Cruise, we now know how to overwatch with you to cover that distance, and that's going wide. The straight the straight away limits our, our distance, but this way we can cover that corner. Kind of funky to, to, to figure this finally out. Holding position. And uh, we can pick this up. What if we pick up some more new Jericho stuff? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Lou Gossett. Uh, looks like we got to be sending you over towards the, the Scarab. Callum, you come right over here. There we go. What's this? Uh, now we, we already got neural pistols. Yeah, we got the mag for it. Uh, well, there's one more not super important item left there, and we still want to check this thing out. So what's the best way to do it? Uh, we can bring you back this way and not get you, not worry about being in any line of sight. Uh, let's pick this stuff up. God, we got so many of these uh, crossbow quivers. We'll, we'll leave one back in case we don't manage to pick it up, just in case. And yeah, Missy Pyle will get you out in the direction of the Scarab also to offload some stuff. disabled arm on a sniper so I think that hopefully uh, means we got rid of his sniper rifle <laughs> that would be a nice thing uh, we do have two quick aims available I think we're just gonna go ahead and do it Tom we got you in the right spot that's for dang sure Did he say he missed? 
Oh, you missed your second shot. Yikes. Oh, well. Uh, I don't think his weapon is uh, able to use or be used. Yeah, it's a two-handed, although he does have a pistol. He does have the pistol. So at this range, none of us are really under threat from a pistol. Um, let's see what we can do. We got uh, our speediest guy inside the scarab. Let's get him out. Tommy Lee Jones, can you get in through any of these windows over here? Seems like we should be able to get through a window there. Yeah, we should be able to get through a window. Um, let's dash you with your will points you have available. No time to lose. And get you inside. You can pick up these loose ends. One here, one there, one there. And then we'll be done as we work on getting everybody else out of here. Or at least uh, over there for a ride in the scarab. Okay, Lou Gossett, do you have the ability to offload anything? I think you do. Actually, then uh, take you right back out in case we need the shot. Now we'll keep you in there for now. We got Tom Cruise uh, still available. If he gets out of sight, then we'll then we'll deal with that. See if we can get you in here. And Missy Missy, where are you? And you don't have enough room apparently for all the stuff, but we'll start offloading some of it. Oh wait, there is more room. Look at that, a whole nother row. So I take that back. There we go, you're back. Callum, okay, you've moved your max. Well, actually, we'll just leave those two on board and uh, in those turns. Now he's moving even closer in range for Tom Cruise. We are out of ammo and we don't have any more ammo. Because we didn't bring any more ammo. <laughs> uh, but we can uh, do some damage if we switch weapons. Uh, we have quick aim. We do not have the ability to quick aim by moving over here. And moving just slow, uh, just little enough, we don't have the ability to gain him in sight. So let's do this. Let's take a little, let's take some steps over here. So next time, hopefully, we'll have him in range and keep ourselves out of range a little bit or out of line of sight. And let's see. Uh, let's hustle you over here, Tommy Lee Jones. You've got a couple dashes. We're just going to use them up to get over to what we need. No rest for the weary. No rest. And next turn we'll be able to pick that up. What we'll do is we'll pop out Lugasa because he's got a little bit of speed. Lugasa will pop you over here. Pick that up next turn. 
Callum, let's get you inside. Ready. Moving in quick. And I think we'll keep the scarab right about where it is. For the moment. And you can pick this up, go over here, get back to the scarab. You can pick this up, get over back here, get out. And Tom Cruise uh, can keep this guy honest. Yeah, I think you stepped right into it. Now, are you telling me we can't see down there if we move up here? I guess we'll find out. We spotted him. And uh, we should have... Yeah, we have points. Let's fire. But we aren't in his line of sight. Can we get here to see him? It says we can. Moving out. Finish his job, Tom Cruise. Yeah, maybe it's safer now. I'll try and get there. Just gonna run you, Lou Gossett. We don't need to keep you inside anything. We're gonna be getting everything out of here, so that's good. come in and where they come in okay we heard them they're coming in somewhere do we have any indicator to tell me where the somewhere is and it's back of that they're just piling in back in this corner which is fine by me because we're gonna be out of distance here pretty quick oh yeah oh no we can't pick up both um, what don't we need Got a lot of the Disciples of Anu stuff. Those those pistol ammo things. So we're gonna take the new Jericho ammo. That's more important. Hope I'm not we're gonna get the hey out of here, Tommy Lee Jones. Um, it says resource packs. Where am I missing one? Where have I missed one? Oh, a pie over here. Well, we have a solution for that. Can't believe we missed one, Missy. I was born ready. What do you have? Okay, you're free. Let's get you out of here. And uh, you got us a quick jet jump to get up there for the last pack. On Next my way. turn. Tom Cruise, we're gonna bring you back over here, and uh, we're gonna try a little Overwatch. The, the funky way so we can shoot off into the corner where he appeared. We'll keep the scarab right there for now. Ready to roll. Well, Gossett, we can maybe get you down in here to where you'll have a shot at some point. Let's bring you there. I don't see who or what it is. Not yet, at least. Uh, so we'll overwatch with you, Tom Cruise, yet again. Lou Gossett, I'm kind of feeling like let's get you up high in case we get a nice sniper shot available for you. Keep the scarab there. Tommy Lee Jones, hop aboard. It's a pile. Jump up here. And get that missing crate for us. There we go. Ooh, we 
Got one incoming on the other side. Time to get out of here. Bunch of assaults. Yeah, our turret is disabled, but uh, guess what? We don't have any ammo anyway. Uh, what do we got? This one's a heavy. Uh, so that one... Well, we're going to be out of range here pretty quick. Uh, we're going to get ourselves hidden over here. Took some hefty damage on the scarab, that's for sure. In fact, uh, Lou Gossett, we're going to give you the quick aims on the heavy, uh, depending on his shield. Yeah, his shield is not uh, the most cooperative. Let's just find out what your shot would be in spite of the shield. Well, it's not great. It's pretty, pretty crap range. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, get you up to the top level here. See if that helps our angle and just take a standard shot. No quick aim. See if we can get lucky. <laughs> we got lucky. Tom Cruise will have you work over here. You have one quick aim, so it's just a standard shot this time. Uh, maybe it's not a shot we're going to take right now. So we, we go back to our funky overwatch one more time. And Missy... I want you jumping out of here. But I kind of want you jumping out of here, maybe in cover from that thing. So he stayed out of overwatch range from us. Eh, well, okay, our cover gave us some protection against these shots. It wasn't great. Hmm. Kind of feeling this. This may be our turn to bail. See if we can get ourselves out of here. Ah, Missy, you can't quite do it. So let's get you out of sight of the heavy. Behind this thing in case the assault tries some long range weird shot against us. And next turn will be our exit turn. I think Lou Gossett, he placed his shield a little better for us. I don't think we're going to have a shot, but we'll take a look anyway. Stranger things have happened. Nope. We don't have the shots, so we're going to get our snipers down here, and we're going to get out of here. So Tom Cruise, let's drop you uh, at the back of the building. And uh, everybody, let's wait it out. bullet here, a bullet there, then going to wipe out the scarab. Okay. Uh, the bad thing is it is on overwatch. So the good thing is we're at a long distance, uh, so we're going to count on it not hitting us. Okay, Missy. And he didn't overwatch you. <laughs> we we're barely in his loaded in his loaded state we barely made it out
right, the scavenging mission is done. We picked up some really nice experience here for Lou Gossett and Tom Cruise, our snipers that were just picking them off. Uh, everybody else got some solid stuff. And the best of all, we got some much needed uh, Phoenix, uh, excuse me, New Jericho ammo uh, for our weapons. All right, we can scan along here and see, look at that, six magazines for the Bulldog. Uh, the, the Gauss PD, PD personal defense weapon we don't really have. We don't, unfortunately, we only got one sniper rifle magazine. Uh, but at least for the assault weapon, uh, we picked up some really nice amounts of ammo. 800 materials, which we desperately needed. And another 300. Nice little haul there. Nice little haul. All right. Uh, let me take a look before we uh, end this episode. The Helios is healing as is sitting right there, so that's good to know. Both of them sitting there are healing, even though we have one bay available. The defending force is still outnumbered, so yeah, the, they'll be able to deal with that no problem on their own. And uh, I think what we'll do, for well, fortunately we don't have to spend anything to come to, to fix the Helios vehicles. I think what we're going to do is go down, uh, offload our permanent team then uh, that we're going to use down here uh, between the two Helios vehicles. And now we're going to have some rapid abilities to move around. Uh, we'll be able to react to Haven Assaults down here. And what I'm thinking in the back of my mind, uh, possibly activating this base. Uh, so we have a way between this mist up north and uh, this mist down south with the Helios because they're fast enough. Uh, to be going back and forth for any uh, defenses we need over here. And in the meantime, landing on some of these question marks and uh, finding, finding maybe some more uh, exploration sites in that process. So that's kind of uh, a plan there. Now I got to come up with a plan uh, for the Manticore, which is heading back to base, wherever it is at this point. Oh, it's still a long ways away. Uh, once they're rested, we're going to have to come up with with a plan for the A-Team and the Manticore. What I'm hoping is once we get this uh, puppy built here, maybe we'll find uh, the stepping stones we need to get over here. Uh, we got a couple missions uh, sitting off in the distance over here. It'd be nice to get maybe get this base activated. And uh, we're starting to cover the globe at that point in halfway decent fashion. So there's the overall plan. Um, Hope you enjoyed the mission. We finally got that scavenging one out of the way. Some much needed supplies. Uh, let's be thinking about what we want to be able to spend them on, what we need to start upgrading on. Uh, maybe another ar archaeological lab wouldn't be a bad idea, uh, but we'll ponder that between episodes. Uh, feel free to give me your thoughts and ideas on uh, what you think we should spend our funds on, and I hope to see you next time. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in the world. Give me that thumbs up. I'm looking for it. Let me hear from you too. Love hearing from you in the comments. Thanks so much.